Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the complete procedure on how to update the app in Google Play Store. I have already posted a video on how to publish the app to Play Store. So many people started asking me the doubts like, is closed testing compulsory even to update the app? Do we need to test the app with 20 testers once again in order to release the app with new version? How much time it takes to review the updated app? If I have the published app installed on the device, then how can I install and test the updated app in closed testing track? Can I change the advertising ID declaration after publishing the update version? All these doubts will be clarified through this video. So don't skip the video and watch till the end. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. So you have an app published to Play Store. Now you want to update the app. First, to update the app, you need to create a new release build. Here, I have listed some important points to remember while creating the new release build version. This is like a checklist you need to verify on every new update you make for your published app. First one is disable logs and remove system.out print statements if any from your code. Because keeping the log entries in the production app can lead to many serious security issues. Though the latest Android versions prevent viewing the logs from other apps, it is not completely difficult to access and share logs using some hacking apps. Then the sensitive data like email IDs, signing tokens are leaked through your logs, leaving the user data at risk. So better to remove the logs or at least hide the logs within an if statement with a debug flag false in the code. Next, delete debug toast messages. If you have added any toast messages to debug your app flow, then make sure to remove all of them in the release version to avoid confusions in the user experience. Also remove test ads. While testing the new features, if you have used test ad mob app ID or test unit IDs instead of your original ad IDs, then make sure you revert the test ad IDs with the correct app and ad IDs. If your app doesn't contain ads, then this check is not applicable for you. Next, update target Android SDK in modules build out Gradle. Always make sure your app targets the latest Android API level. If not, your app will not be available on Google Play to new users whose devices run the latest versions of Android. The current stable Android version is 14, that is API level 34, so I am already targeting the latest Android version only. But after changing the target Android SDK, don't forget to test the app on available devices once again. So once all these checks are done, then finally change the version code and version name. The version code must be greater than the current version and change the version name also. Now sync the Gradle files. Create the signed build. Here, use the same key store file and password used for your published app. If you use different key store file to make signed build, then your app will be rejected for updation in Play Console. Okay, so this is the final release build ready for the updation. Now let's see how to update the app in Play Console. Log into Play Console account. See this is my app already in production. So select the app. Here select production option under release. Click on create new release. Drop your sign build here. Update the release name and release notes. Then preview and confirm the production release. Then it will be sent for production review directly means close testing is not necessary for updating the app in production. But releasing the build directly to production is not at all recommended unless you have tested the app on minimum 10 different devices and you are sure that there are no crashes or issues in the workflow. So the best practice is always release the app updates to internal testing or closed testing tracks. I prefer doing closed testing with at least two testers before every update of my app because by releasing the build to closed testing, we will get a pre-launch report by Google after testing the app in different devices with different OS versions. 
so that report is very helpful on identifying the issues or crashes if any then we can fix them and release the new build to close testing once again if you want you can release the build to internal testing also but in this only 100 testers can test the app and also you can release to open testing if you want your app to be tested by anyone on google play to understand more about releasing the build to test tracks check my video on how to upload the android app for internal testing i'll give the link in the description box okay for now i am uploading the build to close testing this is my close testing track used for testing while publishing the app for the first time so i am updating the same track click on manage track before creating the new release check the testers list this is my testers list but the updates does not require to be tested by 20 testers so i am creating another testers list with only four email ids if you want to share this new release also with your 20 testers you can do the same for better quality assurance of your app created the list now i want to use this list for testing my updates click on save oh we need to send this added email list for review go to overview these are the changes in closed testing track one email list added and another removed but i just unselected beta testers hope it doesn't remove the list okay send two changes for review okay now go back to closed testing testers tab okay now all the closed testing releases can be accessed by only the users added in closed testers list now click on create new release drop the app bundle file this will take time please be patient ok uploaded the build come down change release name if required and update release notes with the changes included in this release click next oh there is a warning ok ok for now i am ignoring this warning and click on save go to overview send one change for review add one change to current review ok the testers list change is already in review so it says these changes will be reviewed at the same time as changes that have already been sent for review this may increase the review time ok click on add changes so my app in close testing was sent for review on april 10th around 4 6 pm so wait for the completion of review so approximately after 50 minutes my app got published to close testing actually this review time depends on the type of your app whether app or game or free app or paid app contains ads or not or is it a kids app etc so there are so many factors included to increase in your app's review time so be patient once the review is done by google you will get an email like this your recent app updates have been published now we need to share this new app version to our testers for testing so go to close testing manage track testers tab only these testers can install and test my app come down this is the link that we need to share with testers but luckily this is the same url which we have used for publishing the initial release version so they can use the same url to install this new beta test version also or if you are sharing with new set of testers then share this link with them now let me show you how to install the new beta update from this link on device so this is the link to install and test the closed testing build click on this it will open the google play store app see this is my published app which i have already installed on my mobile you can verify the version number this is 1.2 but my updated app version is 1.3 now to install that closed testing version we need to join the beta program this joining the beta option is available only to the testers added on the testers list in the closed testing track ok click on join join 
so it is joining me into beta program beta sign up in progress it takes a few minutes okay after some time go back and click on the link once again yes the status is changed to you are a beta tester now i can install the app uploaded for close testing but the option is still showing open instead of update let's check the version it is still 1.2 that means close testing build is not loaded okay do one thing go to settings apps open google play store click on storage clear the cache now try to open the link again yes see the option changed to update means my close testing build is loaded in the play store check the version it is 1.3 okay now i can install and test my app uploaded in close testing track ask your testers also to install and test the same version on their devices if they are getting any errors while opening the build on play store then there could be two possibilities that went wrong check the email id is once again added to the testers list in the close testing track and clear the cache for play store app on device settings and the testers can send their private feedback to the developer from here this feedback will be delivered to developer play console account and any time testers can leave the beta program by clicking on leave option here to install the published app from the play store okay meanwhile you can check for pre launch report once the testing is done by google you will receive an email a new pre launch report is ready okay click on view report okay no crashes only warnings found zero stability issues zero performance issues 20 accessibility issues and zero security and trust issues and the app was tested only on five devices i'm not sure why but every time it run tests on minimum 8 to 9 devices maybe depends on the device availability so all the warnings with screenshots are given so check and fix them if they are meaningful warnings you can ignore but if you find any stability and security issues then you should definitely fix them before publishing the app to production so if you have any issues in the pre launch report fix them create the new release build by following the update app checklist go to production create new release and publish the app but my app contains only ui warnings so i want to update the same build to production go to close testing manage track click on promote release select production so the same version is loaded in the production come down if you want you can update the release name and release notes click next come down roll out percentage you can change if you want your updated app to be delivered to all your app users then give 100% and click on save go to publishing overview yes send one change for review yes send changes for review so the app is sent for review for the production update wait it is not over it you need to finish some post update tasks in the play console if you have added or altered any features in the update app version then you need to update the app store listing page go to play console expand store presence and select main store listing here update app description section with changes and also update the app screenshots if necessary and if the changes are dealing with any third party libraries or requesting permissions from users or sharing users data for app functionality or ads are included then you should update app content page as well go to app content in the left menu click on action tab and update the declarations for app changes mainly verify advertising id data safety section ads and privacy policy declarations and update them if required
Okay, after 20 minutes, refreshing the screen to check the production app update status. Yes, the app is published to production and received the email as well. So this way you can make smooth updates to your published apps by following my update checklist. Hope this video was helpful for you. If yes, please comment, like and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.